Are you feeling the weight of anxiety? Well, you're not alone. Let's explore a surprising solution to manage it. In the midst of the bustling city of Donellin, New Jersey, Ken Sanders finds himself grappling with the familiar weight of anxiety. The mere thought of his daily commute triggers a cascade of unsettling scenarios, each one escalating his panic. As he grips the steering wheel of his BMW, a paradox unfolds. The scenes unfolding in his mind feel as real as the pavement beneath his tires. Yet he remains motionless in his driveway. At 63, Sanders is no stranger to the ebb and flow of anxiety, a mental companion he has traversed for decades. However, his journey is emblematic of a broader societal trend, the soaring prevalence of anxiety, now afflicting more than a third of adults in the United States. The Rising Tide of Anxiety The landscape of mental health is evolving, with anxiety emerging as a pervasive force shaping daily experiences. Research underscores that Sanders is part of a growing cohort confronting anxiety disorders, challenging the notion that such conditions are isolated incidents. Anxiety, once perceived solely as a personal struggle, has transcended into a societal dilemma, leaving many to grapple with its implications. The Anxious Commute In Sanders' narrative, the car becomes a crucible for anxiety, a confined space where the mind races through potential calamities. But beyond the individual anecdotes lies a broader discussion about the nature of anxiety. Mental health experts contend that anxiety is not inherently problematic. Rather, it is a fundamental aspect of the human experience. In an age marked by constant connectivity and comparison, the boundaries between personal and societal anxiety blur, prompting a re-evaluation of our relationship with this complex emotion. Challenging Perceptions David Rosmarin, founder of the Center for Anxiety, is at the forefront of a paradigm shift in understanding anxiety. Contrary to the prevailing belief that anxiety should be eradicated, Rosmarin advocates for a recalibration of our relationship with it. He argues that anxiety is a natural response, a signal of danger or stress. The challenge lies not in banishing it entirely, but in learning to coexist with it. The Modern Culprit Anxiety's surge is often attributed to the relentless 24-hour news cycle and the curated worlds of social media. However, experts assert that the core of the issue extends beyond these surface triggers. Society's pervasive narrative, asserting that anxiety is unnatural, exacerbates the problem. Dr. Justin Kay from Hackensack University Medical Center notes that the discomfort people feel about anxiety itself contributes to the escalating cycle creating what can be termed the anxiety epidemic. Modernity and its toll. Anxiety experts argue that modernity itself is a breeding ground for anxiety. The relentless pursuit of external success, fueled by societal values, neglects internal achievements like emotional stability and self-development. This skewed pursuit, experts claim, results in a generation plagued by anxiety with younger individuals at the epicenter of the storm. Shifting priorities. The clash between societal expectations and individual well-being is evident in the experiences of young professionals like Matthew McHale. The emphasis on external success, accolades, and rapid advancement comes at the expense of personal growth and emotional stability. McHale's journey reflects a broader societal shift where success, often defined externally, becomes the focal point, overshadowing the importance of internal contentment. Embracing Discomfort The solution, according to experts, lies in reframing our relationship with anxiety. Cognitive behavioral therapy and similar approaches aim to instill an understanding that life inherently involves unpredictability and moments of discomfort. Dr. Kia Rai Prewitt emphasizes that feeling uncomfortable doesn't equate to being wrong. It's a fundamental aspect of the human experience. Empowering Narratives Sanders, after years of grappling with anxiety, has learned to navigate its ebbs and flows. Through exposure therapy, he transformed anxiety from a paralyzing force into a catalyst for improvement. His story echoes a broader call to redefine the narrative around anxiety, not as a debilitating disorder, but as a facet of the human experience. As the car finally eases onto the highway, Sanders' journey becomes a metaphor for the collective struggle with anxiety. 
It is an invitation to challenge preconceived notions, to confront discomfort, and to rewrite the narrative surrounding anxiety. Beyond the individual stories, a societal conversation emerges, one that encourages acceptance, resilience, and the acknowledgement that anxiety, rather than a foe to be defeated, is a companion to be understood. The journey to redefine our relationship with anxiety begins with conversations. Share your thoughts, experiences, and insights. Let's foster a community that embraces the nuances of mental health. Reach out to Adriana Rodriguez for tips and support, and let's embark on a collective journey toward a healthier understanding of anxiety. See you in the next video.